On the subject of rocks, this is a great example of weathering. Where parts of the rock have flaked away, been broken off. And that's for the whole column of rock. That's usually an example of water making its way inside. Sometimes it's as that water freezes or expands, it widens the cracks between the rock, between the layers of the sandstone and slowly breaks away pieces. Really good example here. You can see just how far the next piece of rock is ready to crack and break off. And so how many more hundreds of years is this likely to last? Maybe another 800, but it will certainly need preserving. This is another really good example of weathering. So once upon a time, what we would have had here is pure stone. But all of these cavities, holes, have worked their way into the rock. That's simply as a result of rain, which has fallen through and worked its way out. Now that is the best example I can give you of natural weathering. Look at the way the tree has grown into the walls of the temple and really in some way it is, it's probably keeping the temple together but equally it's forcing lots of it apart and so you can see that the, the roof has started to, to fall in. You can see that parts of the walls have, have started to droop and eventually that tree growth and any others would lead to this, this building falling to pieces and being destroyed much like what we have over here and in the other parts of us. It's likely that the, the only reason that this temple has survived and lasted with that tree growing over it is because it's been moved used to the movie set, part of the Tomb Raider movie set. And so they've purposefully tried to preserve that and keep it intact. But eventually natural weathering like that from the tree would lead to that building being destroyed. So that is the best example I can give you. And like I said, this is the set for the Tomb Raider movie.